when I was in, uh, in working in school libraries, it was always a, really important to me to make sure that access to whatever my students wanted to read was what I was about. However, we could make that access happen, whether it was they wanted more graphic novels or they wanted more uh, of books that maybe they've heard they didn't, they shouldn't read or things like that. We were doing whatever we could. And, um, that, and that we did that in a lot of different ways. We did that with also with, with you know, trying to have the most diverse collection possible of uh, physical materials, but also providing access to whether it is um, e-books or audio books, and then also through partnerships with the public libraries, making sure that the public librarians were visible in the school, in the school library as well. And so it was sort of a seamless transition from uh, you know, whether it was during the school day or at night or over the weekends, it really was and they always had a library home and a, a space to seek out and all, pretty much as much as possible find the reading materials they wanted. So it's, um, I, and I always teach, I have a, a unit in um, pretty much every class I teach that really pushes home that idea of we are about um, access and giving our our students and our whether it's our faculty or anyone that we come into contact with the wonderful resources they want and they get to decide that it's not about what librarians are, are doing that it's about we're giving them access to find exactly what they want so it's um, always a wonderful time of year to reflect on how lucky we are to have that um, that part of what we do just being able to provide that access to exactly what our patrons want <laughs>